So we've made a folder now on our desktop called files and we have our two files inside of it. Currently I'm on the desktop. So if I wanted to list out what's the files or folders on the desktop, I would click in type ls and I would see those files. See the file folder here shows me my files that are in the current directory. If I want to move into that directory, we're going to do cd files and press enter. And now if I did ls, you'll see the hello-copy.txt and the hello.txt. Now if I want to see what's inside of a file without having to open up the file, I can write cat or cat space and then hello.txt or the name of my file. So I'll write hello.txt and I'll press enter and it says hello, this is a sample nano edit. And so you can see the contents of your files. If you wanted to write a comment, for example, in the terminal, you can use the pound sign and say, this is a comment and press enter. Now, that will apply uh, when we start to write some bash scripts and uh, needing to be able to reference our code. Maybe you forget a command and you want to explain what your code's doing, something like that. Comments are a great way to do that. Now the pound sign is, or the number sign there, is the way to do your comments for it. So now that I'm inside that files directory, I've had it out a, a file. So you can see what's in it on the terminal window itself. I may want to remove some files. So if I type ls and it says hello.txt and I have hello-copy.txt, I want to remove the hello-copy.txt. I'm going to write rm and rm is going to remove the file. Now there's a couple additional commands that you can use with rm. Hyphen i is a nice safety sort of uh, tool that you can use that's going to give you a option to um, confirm you want to delete it. So I'll show you both mecha mechanisms. So rm hyphen i, and I'll just type in hello hyphen copy and autocomplete. Now I'll press enter here and watch what happens. It says remove hello copy txt. I could write no. And if I write ls, you'll see it still exists. If I write rm again, but this time without the hello copy, uh, without the hyphen i, sorry, without the hyphen i, so rm hello copy.txt, this time it did not give me the notice and the file is gone. So if you're not really sure what you're going to delete, it's probably a good idea to write the hyphen i when removing a file. Now, if I go up a directory, I'm going to go cd dot dot, and that's going to make me move up a directory. Kind of if you're familiar with the HTML folder paths, same concept there. So cd dot dot, that moves me up a directory. Now if I ls, you're going to see the files folder. If I want to remove the files folder and all of the files inside of it, basically like make sure it's gone. I can write rm hyphen rf and then the name of the folder. Now this command is super powerful and very dangerous at the same time. rm hyphen rf is going to delete that file system. So anything that says files right there on the desktop, in that directory basically is gone, like really gone. So you want to make sure that you're in the right directory, doing this in the right place, on the right folder, because you can really mess your system up, if not sort of completely delete your system, if you run this file wrong. So I'm going to press enter. Notice the hyphen i is not there. So if I press enter, it's going to be deleted instantly, and it's gone. So if you need to remove files, hyphen rf to remove files. All right, so that's the basics 
of command line or shell using bash here. Um, we've made a directory. We've listed out the files in a directory, CP to copy the directory, nano to edit files in the directory. Um, those are the basic sort of everyday uh, tooling that you might use to work with the command line. What I want to transition to next is writing some scripts that you could use to automate things, basically your own sort of commands that you can go and run that might do different things. So let's take a look at that in the next episode.